Hi right, everyone and welcome back to another video. Now in this video we're going to be looking at Portainer. So Portainer is like a nice little um, service that you can run locally uh, on your Raspberry Pi or on a local server or whatever and it's a way of managing your Docker containers uh, via a GUI, right? Um, so a lot of people you know, when you first start out, you start spinning up Docker containers via the command line, and your terminal, and then once you get, you know, maybe three or four, it starts getting a bit um, hard to manage, uh, especially from my view. Some people love the terminal and will die by the terminal. But with me, I don't mind having little GUI interfaces to help me with some things. So what I want to do is cover Portana, um, and I'll kind of show you uh, the layout, what it can do, and how to install it. So what we're looking at here is the Portana uh, homepage. Uh, here, what you can see is there's actually two uh, tabs here, right? There's one called local and one called Raspberry Pi 8 GB. Uh, so what this is, is actually, this is here is my local Raspberry Pi that's running Portana. Uh, and you can see there's two containers running on that. And this is another Raspberry Pi. So in here, even though I've got uh, docking containers on two different Raspberry Pis, I can still manage them all here. Um, and I'll cover how all that works as well later on, but for now, let's just cover kind of Portana from a high level. So like I said, this is the home page uh, where you can see all your endpoints. And then if you would like, you can then click into your uh, Raspberry Pi. Well, it doesn't have to be a Raspberry Pi, but whatever endpoint you have. So let's click on the Raspberry Pi 8 gigabyte. And in here, you can see your images, stacks, the networks you have, containers, and volumes. Uh, the main part that we're probably interested in looking at is the containers part. So if we click in here, we can see what containers are running on that specific uh, host at this time. So we can see that I am running a Portana agent. That is how this separate Raspberry Pi connects to the Portana server that's running on my other Raspberry Pi. Um, this Raspberry Pi is also running my TikTok's website um, and it's also running my little retweet bot uh, at the moment as well. So, and I can manage everything here. So let's go into the tiktoks.nz container. I can stop it. Um, I can pause it, restart it, remove it, like delete it. Um, I can actually console into the container. Uh, I can go, I can inspect it, see some logs. Uh, check the stats of it so if I click stats as you can see here you can see kind of how much memory it's been using how much CPU now this is just a static website it doesn't really use much at all um, so yeah it's, it's such a great little thing right and if I backtrack and come back in here you can click on logs and we can see what's kind of been going on and here you can see that there's just been some you know basic uh, re ping requests and whatnot to it um, to my website so yeah, it's just a real easy way to actually manage your containers, right? Rather than trying to do all these uh, terminal commands. Uh, and it's just, yeah, makes it a lot easier to manage. So again, as you, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, and volumes, if we click in here, we can see what volumes have been created. I have a bunch of unused ones. So this is another way of cleaning up your server as well that's running Docker. So if I don't want these, I can click on all of these and remove them. I'm not gonna do that, but you know, it's an easy way to see what's actually been used and what's not. Same with images, like oh, I'm not using a bunch of these images, I could probably clean them up, save some space. And another cool thing is that this can actually be used to deploy containers as well. So like, and they've got like a bunch of templates. So if we went into app templates, we can scroll down here and there's a whole bunch of um, containers we can deploy. So let's just have like a stroll around. So there's Ghost, uh, which is like a blogging software that you can run, Jenkins, uh, you can read for yourself, of course, but yeah, there's a whole bunch here. Um, so yeah, you can pretty much click on any one you want and then you can give it a name and then you can pretty much come down here and hit deploy container and that would deploy that container. So it's pretty cool, right? So how about we get out of this and I'll show you how you can get this set up for yourself. So all we've got to do is go to the Portan website. Um, the link will be in the description for this and then how you can install it multiple ways so you got docker docker swarm so if you've got a few um servers running docker and they're all swarmed up you can deploy it to that or even kubernetes but for the sake of this video we are using docker uh, so if we click here on docker it will then show us our deployment so there's two things here we've got the actual server so uh, this is the one that will be hosting the portainer server instance itself 
um, and you can see here that it runs on two ports which is 8000 and 9000 uh, you can change those ports that run that are exposed as well that's a great thing about docker um, and then you can see just uh, the storage uh, locations and stuff that it needs so it needs a data and then it's running the docker dos, uh, sock as well uh, but essentially this is just a matter of copying and pasting I will show you deploying it as well don't worry and then also the agent as well so once you've deployed one on your Raspberry Pi and say you've got some other Raspberry Pis or you've got a desktop or a server running uh, docker instances that you also want to manage just install the agent on it and then you'll be able to add that so what I'm going to do just for you I'm going to wipe my server and delete it and also the agent and I'll reset them up just to show you how that works right so I'm currently SSH into two instances uh, my two Raspberry Pi so there's one here and one here so this is the process that you want to do when you're installing it is I've got two, but if you if you don't have any other Raspberry Pis, you only need to install the server, but I am going to cover how to install the agent to connect to other Raspberry Pis as well. But first off, what we're going to do is just install the server first. So all we've got to do is come into the Portana website. Let me just zoom in a bit so you can actually read some of this. Um, and we'll be grabbing this command here. Now, this command will also be in the description as well, just to make it a bit easier for you guys. Um, so just checking here so we need to do a docker volume create portana data and then we need to run this one here so we'll just copy the top command first which is the volume create we'll paste it in cool so we've made the volume now let's go back and grab that other command so we'll copy this one and then we'll paste that one in as well Awesome, now let's just make sure that that container is running. Cool. So I just did a list on my containers um, and we can see that, yep, uh, Portana is here and running and it's running on port uh, 8000 and 9000, but um, we'll connect to it now, just check. Awesome, so uh, Portana actually runs on port uh, 9000 uh, for the admin panel, uh, the admin page, which is what we're on now. So it's just your, uh, server's IP address and then on port 9000. Now we just need to make an admin account so I'll quickly do that. Cool, so I'll just hit create user. Uh, this will be managing a Docker environment for me but if you are running Kubernetes uh, you can do that but we're just going to do Docker and we'll hit connect and there we go just like that. So now if I click on local we can see that we have the containers running. Uh, so we have Portana uh, running on here um, and that is essentially container set up and now we can manage our containers um, I don't really need to cover anymore because I already covered it previously just in the uh, earlier segment uh, but what I'm going to do now is show you how to set up the agent to connect um, to here so we can manage the other Raspberry Pi so here we were in the first Raspberry Pi let's close that to avoid, avoid any confusion and now we're on our other one so let's just see what containers this one was running And we can see that this is running too, which is my site and the retweet bot. So now let's just confirm that we cannot see this endpoint in Portana. So if I click on endpoints here in Portana, you can see that we only have the one. So now let's add it, right? So to add it, we need to install the agent. So let's quickly go to the Portana website and grab that agent uh, command. So on Portana's website, we can see it's right here. So we can just copy this command, which is fantastic, and go and paste that in. So let's paste it. Again, we need to run sudo for all of the stuff and paste. Bam. So now that that's the agent running. Now let's just confirm that. We can see the agent is here now. So now let's connect to it. It's running on port 9001. Now we can just come into endpoints and hit add endpoint. We're adding an agent and the name of um, this, I'll call it my Raspberry Pi uh, 8 gigabyte, which I've got here. And the endpoint URL is uh, the IP address of it. Um, and on port 9001 uh, I don't have to worry about a public IP address um, I could add this to a group and tags if we had a big bunch of them we wanted to make it a bit easier to manage and find certain servers but I've only got two so I don't need to do that and I hit add endpoint now if I come back to home straight away look at that we can see that I have my Raspberry Pi 8 gig it is up and running if we click in here we can see the containers running on it and that was the tech docs and the amazing Heisenberg uh, name of the container, which is actually just my TikTok retweet. 
um, but that is essentially Portainer. Um, I won't go through everything, I'll leave the little fun things for you to have a look and explore, but that is essentially setting it up and adding an agent. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.